Zoom, 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 let go. What up, what up, what up, y'all? You can't see me here today. Back again, Fallout 4. You know what we're doing. Continuing on. We just got done with uh, When Freedom Calls, and we're at the first step. And the first step, I know, is building the sanctuary up. So, we're gonna get, we're gonna start there. You see the first step. We also have the Jewel of Commonwealth and a miscellaneous meeting. The Jewel of Commonwealth, I know, is more of the, the main storyline. The first step is two, because you do want to build up your colony, but um, going to Diamond City is, I know, pushing that main story arc. So, we're going to get around here and find who it is we need to talk to to get this work? thing crackling. I'd be glad to help. Just I'd be glad to help. Well, for starters, we could use some real beds. We've been sleeping on the ground for too long. Just make sure we can sleep with a roof over our heads. Some of these old houses still look solid enough to do the trick. There's a workbench over there you can use. Give me a holler if you need anything. Okay, so we're starting the sanctuary. Just talked to Sturgis, so he says we need three beds. I know it's different parts to getting the sanctuary running and functioning. So you got to go to your workshop. Um, start building some structures. Well, actually, this will be under furniture. Yeah, this will be under furniture. You got beds. Um, I gotta give my people decent beds. Like you can just put a mattress down or a, or a sleeping bag. I at least gotta do this little clean, half clean looking bed that don't take up as much space. So um, I went to the house across the street. And see how many beds I can squeeze in. Yeah. Yeah. And one more. And yeah. Okay. Yeah. I need five beds. Okay, I got five people, so. Yeah, did five. I think one was already available. Put those down. And we're going to find Buddy. Where is he at? Where is he at? You know what? Actually, um, I kind of want to get out this suit, though. This suit is clunky. Let me see. Blue, 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 blue. See that fusion cells? Those ain't the right kind of cells. Get my suit. Oh, okay, okay. Let me uh, let me add a perk. I forgot I had this level up, so I'm gonna do medic. Stem packs restore forty percent of lost health and uh, less radiation. I think it said. Fresh core in your inventory will be swapped out automatically when your current core is empty. Okay, I don't have a fresh core. I need a core, and this joint is dying, dying, dying. I'm trying to get out. How do I get out? Let me out. Let me out. There we go. There we go. There goes the man. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Okay, so let me find this dude. So, um, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, I need to build me a little storage joint. It's good to just build some storage every now and then so you know where you're keeping the items you want to keep. And I like to separate my items, I like to, um, put the weapons in a storage bin or cache or you know, box. And then I like to keep my armor, uh, separate, keep my the aid items separate even the junk well you don't have to separate the junk because all the junk goes into your workshop and it's spread across your settlements but i like to try to keep things as, as separate or neat organized as i can okay boy like what, you, what you back at what you back at doing what y'all doing back everyone's here? spirits what we need now is a reliable source of clean water okay i'm on it i'm on it clean water coming up <sighs> great Thanks again. You're welcome. Okay, so next we gotta get some clean water down. So you just go to resources in your workshop, pull out your little water plug, your water plug, water pump. See, I got enough concrete, steel, gears. So we just put it right here by this little open enclosure. It's kind of right outside where our workshop is, so people don't have to go too far. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna put the other one right beside it. Let me get a little closer than that, though. Oh, uh, okay. 
third one? No, oh, that's enough. That that meets the requirement. So it's three per, uh, three water units per water pump. So let me go find dude. Hey, where you at? What? Where you at, dog? Oh, he in the house. He in the room. Hey, wake up! Wake up! You got a sneak out. It's hey, a party. It's a party. All the kids are up the road. I feel better already, knowing we have a reliable supply of clean water. I hope you don't mind me asking for some more help, but our food supplies are running low. If we're oh. gonna settle here, we'll need to okay. get some crops established. I'll get started. I'll start planting right away. Good deal. I know y'all like my funky mask I was wearing too. Oh, you know what? I gotta plant some food, but I don't have any food. I don't have any food. Where is some food? Where is some food? Where is some food? Okay, I gotta find some food. Ah oh, man. Okay. Um, I I know you can harvest it off plants that are already there, similar to like Minecraft, but I don't have any plants to harvest. So I remember it being a little um traveling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The little traveling salesperson, trader. So let me see if this trader up here, yeah. right by the red rocket <coughs> truck stop, so what's your trash story? can, Carla. Are you gonna trade, rob I me, am. or just ask directions to Diamond City? I should threaten her. Let's see what you've got. I have a little bit of everything. Is that right? What you talking about? Okay, so a carrot, cool. She's got a carrot. Let me go on and buy that carrot. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see if she got any other for mud fruit. Mud fruit. Mud fruit. And old tatoes. Cool, cool. Need that tater. Need them taters. Tatoes and tomatoes. That's all we eat at Sanctuary. Okay. So I'm gonna head on back to the sanctuary so I can plant these plants get this food crackling nice little spot right here we're gonna keep everything nice and close let's see let's see okay that's the carrot we're gonna start with one but we're gonna grow it into an abundance let's see what was it mud fruit mud butt <laughs> mud fruit that's it okay uh, that's a nice little plant little tree for most power objects you can run a wire directly to them some small objects like light get power from a nearby connector okay when you build new food producing objects existing farmers okay i gotta assign a farmer to the oh oh existing farmers will automatically begin working on them in the same way workers assigned to defense producing objects will also assign themselves to new objects Okay, so if you assign somebody to these, I think they actually are even automatically start on it when you have people. Um, if they're not doing anything, they'll automatically start working the food. And then as you plant more and your gardens grow, they'll assign themselves to more food items to uh, work. Okay, I'm gonna take a nap real quick just because um, I wanna, I still, I'm not meeting the food requirement, so. But it's because the food hasn't grown and I can't harvest it yet. So I think it takes like a day. It might be 24 hours. I'm, so I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go explore real quick. I'm gonna just go to a you know a little area right outside the town. I'm not going that far at all, just to see. You know, it, every open area on the map, everywhere you go, it's always something. It's always some raiders, or it's always like an abandoned house, or it's a little town, or it's a plant. So you can always just explore off in the distance with something not marked on the map and something will be there to, to find or to scavenge. Ooh, ooh, pop, pop, pop. Don't be shooting at my dog. We're going for the head and the torso. Bow, bow. Ooh, look at the gun rotate. Look at the gun float in the air. You ain't got no friends in here. That it? Look at the dog's legs. <laughs> He got a bandana on too. Let me get that. Might put that on my dog. 
get dude laid out. You know you was fooling with. I want it all. Man, post apocalyptic, you know, America or, or world would be crazy. Cause you know, just at any moment somebody could just run up on you like I'm the good guy technically. But technically I ain't no better than the Raiders. Ooh, another carrot. Yes, yes, I need that other carrot. That might be just enough to put me over. And then you know what I mean? And then like look at this. She already dead up here. So what was he up here doing with this dead woman's body laying on the mattress? That's crazy. That's crazy. So you know, can say it's just dog eat dog, you know what I mean? Martial law, like you don't know who peaceful, you know, you know, you almost gotta just walk up aiming. So running back to the uh to the sanctuary. To the sanctuary, see. So where I went, you see, we just kind of right off the back side. So it's, it's a little bridge in the rear area. And so if you want to run over there and grab those um grab those items that I got, just run through the back part. Back where buddy right here always be uh pacing around. All right, all right, all right. Let me go on and plant this other carrot. Oh, now see? Okay, that, that was enough time. I don't know if the sleep was, but after I slept and after I went and did that little side mission, the foods are ready to be harvested. So you harvest them. I don't know how many, if, you, if they just one for one, or if you get, you know, two or three units off of a harvest yield. I don't know. Let's see, let's see how many carrots. Now we know I just found one. But let's see how many I got off the plant. So okay, two. So it is just one for one. You plant one and then it yields one extra. And then you can plant the extra. Okay. Let's see. There we go. Mud fruit. Mud, bud. <laughs> That's that day, Chappelle. All right, one more tater plant. They give you two styles for each food. It's like two different looking styles. It's the way you can plant, I guess, the way it grows. Okay, and I met the 100%. It took a minute to register, but I have met the food requirement. So I'm going to go back and holler at Sturgis. So the only thing that's red I see up top, you see people, food, water, power, defense, beds, happiness. Um, defense is the only thing left that's red. So I imagine that's going to be the next mission. Hey, Sturgis. Wake up. Now this place is starting to feel like home. Now that we can grow our own food, I think we can really make a go with this. Trouble is, the more we establish ourselves here, the more of a target we become. What we need is to get some defenses set up. Then maybe Preston will be able to relax a little bit. I'm on it. I'm on it. Ah, thanks. It'll make everyone feel more secure here. Okay, 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 so... I know they got these guard outposts like things that you can set up, but it takes people. And in the beginning, you probably need to use your people on growing food and um, potentially other things besides just guarding an outpost and, and potentially getting shot. See the guard post, the turrets, then the traps. Um, I'm going to probably put a guard post just because I don't know no better and I just want to see one. Maybe I can run up there and use it. You know, if somebody come attack, I'll come out. But uh, the easiest thing in the beginning is just to use a machine gun turret. And it produces five. And I think five is all we need right now. So I laid down the guard post. I'm going to put him right now. Yeah. Right now. Okay. So that's it. Um, I know that a good rule of thumb is to let your defense match. I think the total of your, um, the total of the units of people, food, water, 
power beds. So whatever the total is, you need that high of a defense because I think the rate that you may get attacked or raided, you know, depends on that total number. It could be the num the singular number and just the highest one. So like if your people's was 11 or your food was 15, then you may just need it to be 15. But I believe it's the total. So if you like 54 total, you need to have 54 defense. Sturgis, thanks for doing that. We'll look into that and make well, sure. We'll all sleep better at night knowing we have some defenses set up. It's been a long road. But yeah, I think this is it. Home. Feels good. I was glad to help. Well, I appreciate it. Of course you know you're welcome anytime. My door's always open to you. Windows too. Some of the walls actually come to think of it. <laughs> I guess I better get back to it. Take care now. All right, nice. So we've completed the sanctuary and we got an achievement with that. Cool, cool, cool. So that's what you have to do to get the sanctuary up and running. And that's kind of how each settlement would need to be started to, to get them um, moving. So that's good. That's good. We know how to write the settlements and we'll get prepared for others. So I think this is a good place to stop the video. Uh, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And I appreciate you watching. Got the next one on the way. So keep up with the series. All right. You can't see me. You know what you need to do. Make your next move. Your best move. You yeah. can see me. Your favorite gamer. Zoom, zoom, let go. Zoom, 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 let go.